Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video where today we're going to watch Cardiff City versus Everton. Now, what a what a rubbish game last time when we lost 5-1 to Watford. Wasn't a pretty sight, however, Car Watford were probably one of the better teams to come to us this season, in my opinion. Well, second best only behind Man City, because Man City just tore us, absolutely tore us apart. Uh, once again, I'm being joined by this man, <laughs> Bluebird Legend. Blue Legend. We are, as usual, stuck in traffic. But anyway, today we're coming up against an Everton team who haven't been in good form recently. I think they haven't won in over six matches, is that correct? I'm not sure. I know they haven't played in 16 ma uh, days, though. So. Yeah, I know. They haven't played in ages, which they could be really fresh, but at the same time, their form doesn't seem the best either which gives us a good chance to be honest but yeah we'll just have to see what happens in this one um to be honest after what happened especially on friday i have absolutely no idea what team neil warlock is going to put out he could put out anything today but we'll just have to wait and see what you think yeah hopefully cardiff can give a good account of themselves this, this evening um, especially after the debacle of the second half of the watford match uh, first off had that penalty dis um well who <laughs> wasn't given in the end which was terrible but uh, Watford as you say a brilliant team probably yeah second best team that I've seen down at Cardiff City Stadium now and that's ahead of Manchester United had that uh, managerial bounce after uh, Mourinho went of course but yeah this evening's game Cardiff really got to bounce back we really need the points especially Southampton are playing at home to Fulham I think it's tomorrow evening so we need the three points I don't think a draw tonight would be disastrous in any way but um, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what sort of team uh, the boss puts out this evening hopefully he'll revert to four at the back and we have a little bit more in midfield because I felt that we were overrun by Watford on, on Friday so I'm hoping Camarasa's back hopefully Peltier's back as well but I believe he was off with a sickness bug so whether he is in fit a state to play this evening I don't know maybe he's be feeling a little bit too weak if that is the case I'd like to just see uh, Bamba and Manga in the back four with Bennett and I'd say Bakuna at right back and I'd like to see Gunnison come back in the side as well I'd love to see Camarasa back and Bobby Reed. and we've got Zahor definitely up front this evening as Nyase um, cannot play against his parent club hopefully we get a positive result this evening really looking forward to it I hope the crowd is up for this big time the crowd really need to get behind the Bluebirds and roll the boys on to those three points so yeah come on Bluebirds and what is your saying that I've completely forgot something what is your prediction for tonight prediction well I said in the predictions video that I was going to go for a Cardiff 2-1 victory so I'm going to stick to that Cardiff knew normally bounce back after a heavy defeat or you know sometimes I know they do want to go on a couple of little runs where um, of losses but uh, yeah, Warnock's probably put the rocket up them after Friday evening's uh, debacle so uh, I'm going for a 2-1 win. Yeah I went exactly the same as you and sorry for anyone who, uh, who was deeply offended by me not being in the predictions video uh, the other day but I did go for 2-1 I believe. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes I do. I really do think that we have a massive chance in this one especially after Everton's form and the way we bounce back from these sort of fixtures as well so we have a massive chance. I'm sorry if the lighting's gone again. I can't really do much because it is night time and we can't put the light on because of yeah, the, because because of the drive-in like conditions. <laughs> Um, but anyway, wait for the team news and come on City. Okay, so the team news has just been announced. Um, Etheridge and Gold back for Manga, Morrison, Bamba, Bennett. Um, we didn't think Morrison would play, but it turns out he is. Quite surprised about that. Then midfield of Mendes, Lang, Bakuna, Gunnison and Hoylett. Or I didn't expect uh, Bakuna, uh, Morrison and Bamba to be on the pitch at the same time. Um, especially after what happened against Watford, to be honest. Uh, and then we have Bobby Reed, who I'm really happy that he's starting in in a cam roll and then um, and then Zahor up front which is really good um, happy to see him playing as well then on the bench we have the likes of Peltier who's returned to the side I think after that illness he might, might have had um, there you've also got the likes of I believe Cunningham's on there as well um, Cunningham, Murphy, uh, Danny Ward makes a return to the side as well um, Alex Smithies, most notably Joe Riles I believe is out uh, I'm not sure why he's not in the side uh, he might, could have the sickness blood that's going around at the moment. Peltier on the bench, probably not fit enough to slot back into that back door because uh, it looks like Morrison's in there. And from what I'm guessing, Manga's going to move to right back, uh, but we've got a central. 
central midfield yeah. of Kuna and Gunnison, I'm guessing, at this stage. So, and I expect Bobby Reed just playing behind the horse, so it looks like the creative spark is going to be from Reed this evening. Very interesting this lineup indeed, once again. Especially Patterson's on the bench, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, quite surprised to see Patterson on the bench, really. Uh, might, might not be fit enough, but we'll just have to wait and see, to be honest. Uh, so wait and see to see what happens tonight. <laughs> Across the seven bridge, they act as have half their brain scooped out. Because, oh, I don't know. Disappointing, really. You should have taken that first chance. I think Everton would have found the goal of the way just before Mendes Lang come in and put it one nil ahead of card if it would have been. But uh, disappointing. Sigerson scoring the goal. Last person really wanted scoring for Everton. But uh, hopefully, we can come back and win two one second half. So come on, boys. Amazing chance for Kenton Moore just couldn't get there. Oh, he's, he's won a really good game. Oh, I like it. Yeah, just everything he's taken is just unlucky. Much better in the second half, guys. Oh, can it so? And once again. <laughs> we had to let him score again. Ah. Oh. Championship, you're weak, that was absolutely 
absolutely shocking. Fucking Bruno, A gate with no fence and around it has better defence than us, honestly. We have been so bad. At last, 70 minutes in, we're making our first two subs. Off come the wingers, Hoyler and Mendes, Langon, and Patterson and uh, Murphy, which hopefully they can create something, but it's not looking like it at the moment. We're shocking. Well, in Callum. Go on. We'll kill it. Oh, 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 what are you doing, Kevin Friend? Murphy, keep going. Third and final set for Cardiff, off comes uh, Kempston, we had quite a decent game. And on comes Danny Ward and Kempston is coming back into this one now. Another week, another one. It's not looking good for us this season. We've got a great pressure on him. Then a McDonald's chip. Just literally Please let him go well. through. Oh. Literally just go through. That's it. Uh, and then, oh. My eyes are literally bleeding right now with how bad this defending is. I'm sorry, if, but this, if, if this doesn't, does not put a firm relegation candidate by midnight tonight, then I don't know what we're on about. Honestly. This, Brighton are dropping like a stone. Brighton may be dropping like a stone, but we're dropping like a drop, honestly. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen a car before, it's as bad as this ever. Maybe right in 2011, but this has been awful. Hey, we've got a corner, about time to get something at least. Oh. And that is the end of the game, and yet another loss at home. Oh, it's really not looking good for us, is it? I mean, we were terrible tonight. Our defence was just wide open. We weren't creating anything up front or in midfield, and we were just dreadful, I thought. Um, man the match-wise, I don't think I can give anyone a man the match award, to be honest. It was, it, was, it was so bad. What's your thoughts? Yeah, not good. Losing 3-0 at home. After a 5-1 um, reversal on Friday, not good at all. Um, I really hope we go back to the Manga Bamba partnership in the central defence on Saturday. And really, really need Camarasa to come back into the side as well. Hope he's going to be fit. Um, we got a, a good game against Wolves on the weekend, so we've really got to focus on that now. Hopefully, uh, we can get something out of that game. We always give Wolves a very good game, so... Um, yeah, less said about this evening's game, the better, really. Zahor tried his hardest. He had a couple of little runs, but uh, apart from that first shot in the first couple of minutes and his run in the second half and I think maybe one or two headers, we didn't really put Pickford under any sort of pressure throughout the match. Um, my man of the match, I'd have to go... Oh, I don't know, it's difficult. Bobby Reed probably for his endeavour, yeah. but he couldn't really get on the ball. It doesn't impose himself, but I'd have to give it him. Maybe gonna set an, an okay game apart from that, though. Uh, we didn't look good this evening, so. Um, but at least, as I said, I think earlier, Brighton dropping like a stone. I think they lost against Leicester this evening, and uh, tomorrow the big one. Southampton against Fulham. I'm not sure I want to win that match. I think probably Fulham in the grand scheme of things, but uh, I think we need to forget about this game and just move on to Saturday now and hopefully Camarasa can come back and uh, save our season. Yeah, hopefully. We, we really need something to turn around our season, but if I was going to give a man the match and I had to... <sighs> I think I'd have to give it to Gunnison, to be honest. 
That's all I can say, but we need a massive team overhaul, I reckon. Well, no, we just need to steady the ship a bit. and. Uh... But we really need to... But if we're playing well one week, then we really need to keep that team. Because it clearly works. Yeah, but there were. I think there's a sickness bug going around in the camp, apparently, so maybe that's taken its toll this week, this last few days. So yeah, you never know. Maybe. Or we're clutching at straws, but yeah. Camarasa, really need you back now. Yeah, we really need Camarasa. I don't know why Harry Arta wasn't playing tonight. Uh, to be honest, why did Bakuna even play the full 90 minutes? Like... I thought he was all right. right. Bakuna, okay, he tried. He had an excellent yeah. corner on him, but. Yeah. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have played him for the full 90, to be honest, but um, what can we say about the referee as well? Once again, terrible. Like, Kevin Friend, how how are you even a qualified referee? Just It's just absolutely ridiculous now. Like, I'm not going to go into detail. Just watch Match of the Day and watch Match of the Day, or they will probably won't even show it there, but lo most, lo so many decisions just went against us once again. It's just ridiculous, but... Anyway, go, any, anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, then please do leave a like. And this is the first ever video you've seen by me, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notifications so you don't miss an upload. Follow my social medias in the description below. And I'll see you all next time, probably on uh, March the 10th now, because that's when our next home fixture is. So, oh wow.